Okay, hello everyone. Well, first off, you may be wondering what that shirt is. That shirt is from the concert. Um, yeah. I just got to see ZZ Top literally an hour ago. That was the shit. I had a blast. Anyways, um, I'm going to be reacting to this uh, direct... Thank you to Bailout for sending me a link, and I've been basically keeping myself spoiler free. I want to know what I, I want to know what happens, but I also have been basically keeping myself uh, behind closed doors. So w the reactions you are getting are genuine. I do not know what is going to happen. I have made some guesses, and I'm going to state them now. I'm thinking there's probably going to be Genshin Impact. We are probably going to get our last Smash character. We're probably going to get a Super Rush update. Maybe something stupid about the Pokemon MOBA that no one plays because it's a trash game. Uh, Bayonetta 3 re-reveal. Re Maybe some gameplay on Mario Party Superstars, hopefully. I would like to see that, given that the game releases in like, oh, I don't know, a month. Um, probably something out of left field. I mean, it's a direct, anything can happen. It's either going to be something like Marvel DC Teenagers, or it's going to be something like, I don't fucking know, GameCube Online, which I doubt neither of those will happen. But, um, I mean, if GameCube Online does happen, that's going to be nuts. But, um, I, I don't think that's going to happen because Nintendo's too lazy. Anyways, we already have GameCube Online on PC, so it doesn't matter anyway. Even if they offer it, it's still free on PC. Anyways, let's get on to it. Um... The reaction is over here. You are going to see my face up in the top left. What you guys get is a genuine reaction. I do not know what is going to happen. This is 40 minutes long. Um, yeah, let's go. I I don't know what's going to happen. So, again, I am clueless. Also, let me turn that down a bit. That's a bit loud. Even though I've lost my... Uh, even though I'm tone deaf now because I've been listening to a giant concert for the past, like, hour and a half. Castlevania? No, Monster Hunter. Maybe? Yeah, Monster Hunter. It's Capcom. That's Monster Hunter. New Monster Hunter game, I'm assuming. We are not getting a Smash reveal. This is interesting. Usually they do that first off. I'm going to assume that this is something Monster Hunter related and I know nothing about it. Am I right? I'm right. Oh, it's it's DLC for Monster Hunter Rise, aka a game that a, a total of two people care for. Okay. Noted. Noted. Alright. Nice reveal. Nice reveal. Already good reveals, chat. Already good reveals. Already good reveals. Um... Nothing interesting so far. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. Yes, Koizumi, we know who you are. For today's Nintendo Direct. I'm the last Smash character, if only. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak. The massive expansion for Monster Also, no offense to any Monster Hunter fans, but there's like two people that probably care about that DLC. Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will- Oh my god. It's a fucking Monster Hunter game. You don't have to tell, tell us about it. Locales, monsters, and although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Snore. Sunbreak. I'm being obnoxious, chat. I'm being obnoxious, and I know I'm being obnoxious. I just- What concert did I go to? Gary, I got- I went to see ZZ Top, my guy. ZZ Top. Batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. I got to see ZZ Top, my guy. I had a lot of fun. Party during the day. Well, here's Superstars for you. Here's Superstars for you. It's time to party. I think that's the uh, night and day board from Mario Party 2 that I just saw. And Peach's birthday cake. Several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods. Woody Woods, we already knew Woody Woods. We already knew Woody Woods. The board's direction when you least expect. We already knew Woody Woods. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's tropical island. Oh god, not Yoshi's tropical island. That board is sucks. That board sucks. Party day and night in Yes! Harland! Okay. That's a good board. That's a good board. That's a good board. That's a good board. 
to mount mini games and play in mini game only courses. Compete against players. Mini game only courses? Why? Just give us actual boards for God's sake. There we go. Mario Party 6 game that I love. Rocky Road. I hope. Okay. Supports online play. That's good. Another mini game for Mario Party 7. I hope to God you can turn taunts off. If you can't turn taunts off, that's gonna fucking piss me off. I need to know if you can turn taunts off, because if you can't, that's probably gonna be one of the things that turns me down. Look, Ian, curd game. Hearthstone? It's not Hearthstone. It's not Hearthstone, guys. It's not Hearthstone. Um, I got no clue what this is. Probably something new. Genshin Impact Card Edition? Kappa? No, it looks like Monster Hunter or something. Or, no, no, that- Fire Emblem. This is- it's not Fire Emblem, okay. It's a Square Enix game. It's a Square Enix game. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists, to shops, Oh, okay. Well, hopefully it gets resumed soon, uh, Gary. Square off in turn based card battles where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. I'm sorry. I, I, card game, card game turn based just reminds me too much of Paper Mario, Shit Star, and, and Color Trash. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have too many bad memories of playing the bad Paper Mario games that this does not look appealing to me. Dragon Roars launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. I know all I am is just bashing the fuck out of these games, but I'm I'm just being frank with you. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. Absolute disaster of a human being. Oh wait, that's everyone. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the Disco Elysium. Where have I heard that Disco franchise Elysium before? Final cut. As you that rings a bell. Uncover clues in terms I've of never seen gameplay of this franchise, but that rings a bell. Massive bell. The help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will Didn't it release like fairly recently? I'm pretty sure it did actually. Yeah, it did. The story progresses. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the game will launch okay. early 2022. Pre-orders for the- I think I remember hearing today, about this game, like, a couple months ago coming out. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Well, hack and slash time. The uncannon hack and slash. It's R two D two, the Guardian Edition. And about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall. You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm you. Hello, Ian. You missed out on Curd Game. That did not really look appealing, in my opinion. This is the uh, Guardian whatever DLC, right? Or is this just like the second part of it? Those frame rates look really crusty. The Guardian from Remembrance, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, that game chugs on an actual Switch. It chugs on emulators too. Are you kidding me? There's a fucking Final Fantasy racer. I'm sorry, this is great. This is hilarious. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, this is hilarious. I love this. I love this. I don't even play Final Fantasy. I think this is hilarious. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's great. It's fucking amazing. Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. I know it's really just a Mario Kart ripoff, but I think it's hilarious. I'm just I'm just laughing my ass off looking at this shit. It's just Mario Kart with like extra strategy to it. Only on Nintendo Switch? Also next year, you guys said winter. Last fighter. Alright. Are you revealing it? Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final. Okay, it's happening on the 5th, which is like two weeks from now. Noted. In fact, that is two weeks from now. He'll also show you how to use this fighter. So I'm, I'm, I'm betting you it's going to be like Waluigi or Crash. It's going to be, it, 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 if it's Waluigi, I'm going to laugh my fucking ass off. You do not know how much I'm going to laugh my ass off. About Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. Next. Please take a look at this. Uh, Splatoon? No. I didn't guess it right, did I? No. Did I seriously just guess Splatoon? This looks like Splatoon's art style. Don't jape with me. Okay, no, that doesn't look like Splatoon. No, that doesn't look like Splatoon. That or Nintendo went on a really fucking weird art style. It's Kirby! Ah! Okay, okay, it's Kirby. I guess he's getting a new game, isn't he? They're giving him an open world game. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I don't know how that's gonna work. That's interesting to say the least. I don't know how Kirby in an open world will work. For Mario, it makes more sense in Zelda, but I, I don't understand how it would work for Kirby. It just seems a little bit odd. I don't know. I don't know, it's just my take. It just seems a little bit weird. Also, performance is probably going to be dog shit because it's a Switch. But who knows. I mean, if the, if the game runs well, it'll definitely be interesting to watch. Not my cup of tea, given it's a Kirby game, it's way too easy. But it'd still be really cool to watch. So I assume this releases next year. There's no way they've been sitting on this for like a year now. Or... They have been sitting on this for a while. Okay, so it's literally coming in like what? Maybe May? Interesting. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay. Bet I bet Kirby fans are really happy. In this new game, I think it's cool. Nothing really I would play, but that's pretty cool. He's finally getting an like what I hope is a good game because the Star Allies I heard was just garbage. All the only thing that Star Allies had was basically every character from the whole franchise. The game is scheduled to release it didn't really feel like an actual Kirby game, according to some people I know. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. That being said, I feel like this one has potential. We have this to show you. Please take a look. Star Wars is more of the same. Yeah, this looks like more of something different, which is good. Uh, Animal Crossing DLC.
I guess they're adding more DLC to this. Do, do. Oh. Alright, well, nothing... <laughs> Nothing I'm a huge fan of, Since but all right. In 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. And it's getting its own direct. Cool. Arrive in November. In I won't tune in for that. I will not cover that. But to those who are interested in that, in hey, it's you're getting your own direct. I hope you're happy. The content and more detail. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. The Roost is such a good song. It's just very calming. Let's move on to more <laughs> Announcing a direct and a direct inception. Alright, what's next? Two games, one game update. Two games, one game update. I'm... Called it! I called it! It's another update. I called it, guys. I said there was going to be another update. I was right. Remember, they had to half-bake this game. They had to half-bake it so that they could... Make extra DLC for it at the end. Uh, talk to me about that in uh in in uh DM Gary, if you please. But um, yeah, I I'm not surprised by this. They wanted to get some money from the game before they pumped out more stuff, and they're they're kind of pulling an EA here. What's this? Kingdom Hearts. You're invited to live in a magical world. Not Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Of Disney characters. Spend time with Disney friends. And here's me thinking that it was going to be a Kingdom Hearts game on the Switch. Ha, <laughs> you thought. Delightful Disney themed worlds. All downloaded. Those just look like inferior Mii's and they're even creepier than Mii's. Like what? Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition. Source onto Nintendo Switch. Those Mii ripoffs look really creepy. A beloved Star Wars, Star Wars. coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, is this the one that looks like a GameCube game? It is. It does look like a GameCube game. In this blend of action, role-playing, and adventure. Will you use and it performs like one, too. Jeez. Dark side. Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Launching on Nintendo Switch. Cool, it has pod racing. I'm sold. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. All right, see you, Gary. There's one thing you must always remember: stay human. Stay human. That's something that a lot of people forget today. Stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2. Cloud version. Oh, that sucks. Man, it'd be great to have this game on a Switch. It would probably run like absolute dog shit. But it being a cloud version is an immediate turnoff. That sucks. Oh well. Just get GeForce now, guys. Your decisions will shape the story, but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go in Dying Light Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies. So Dying Light 1 is going to be on a Switch, but Dying Light 2 is going to be a cloud version? That's kind of stupid, my guy. That's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. Just saying. That's just my opinion, though. Then again, I, I'm pretty sure Dying Light is Dying Light itself probably runs like absolute dog shit on the Switch because of the hardware. So it's already stretching it. Or liberty. Triangle strategy. In triangle yes, strategy, triangle strategy. Are they still calling it that, or have they finally given it a name? Given that it's by the same people as Octopath, I'm pretty sure that they have not changed the name. And I'd hate to be right, but they kind of did that with Octopath. And Octopath is a good game, it's just... I feel like they could have easily given it a better name. survey about the demo released in February of this year. The game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls, the ability to review previous dialogue. He was right. I hate being right. I hate being right. 
More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Because the, the thing is, this is made by the same team. This is made by the same Square Enix team that did uh, Octopath and Bravely Default. And they make, a, they make great games, it's just that they don't know how to fucking name them. They just name them literally the project name. And here we have Dread. Okay. We already know quite a bit about Dread, so I don't know what they're going to mention here. We already have the date. That was creepy. Yeah, those things are definitely creepy. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. P I'm pretty sure there are a lot of Metroid fans really excited about this. I don't know. I I'm not a huge fan of Metroidvanias, but I might definitely look at somebody play this game. It's definitely a game I might watch rather than play. It releases in what, May? Samus Aran, the most powerful oh, we're gonna have a trailer for it now. We're probably gonna have a, like a five minute trailer now. Uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. <laughs> Dread the bread. The the I am bread. Are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread Reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Okay, so they're not they're not gonna dwell on it. That's good. I appreciate that. That's very respectful of them. was that it does look like they're they're finally bringing back that thing that game though because it's been like what a dead game for five years eight years oh god why are you peddling this service again new membership plan really as a part of this new plans content really you're charging a premium for the N64. You're charging a premium for the N64. The Nintendo 64 system launched five years ago. I think the system gave many players their gaming experiences. Not even worth. Not even worth. Just use Project 64. Like seriously, just use Project 64. I don't know why you'd pay extra for online just to get that. Addition to the Nintendo 64 games. Genesis? The fuck? I'm sorry? <laughs> You're kidding, right? You're kidding. Uh You're kidding. You're kidding. to play these classic games whenever and wherever you'd like. You're a comedian. You're a comedian. You're a comedian. But you can emulate this on literally a toaster. Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online. Expansion pack, really? Really? This new membership plan will be added in late October. Really? Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. I hope to God it's only like thirty dollars, uh, thirty dollars a year instead of twenty. 
And I hope they have family plans for it, because then I'll exploit the family plans, and then post them on Patreon for you guys to use. That's a very lackluster startup. Okay, that's actually respectful for the Genesis. That's respectable. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X. F-Zero X, that's quite niche actually, but again, Netplay exists. Paper Mario, they're finally acknowledging Paper Mario, holy shit. and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original release. I might actually have to buy those controllers, unironically. Both can be used wirelessly. Thing is, Bailout, they can literally just port those in right now. They're too lazy to. You can literally just play them on a PC right now. That being said, I do con I am considering getting those controllers. Those controllers look really nice. And plus, I can hook them up to a PC and actually play authentically. There's plenty to play in these collections. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic If all they're doing is adding N64 and Genesis to the to the to the shit online, there's no point in getting it. Literally, they actually have to like put some sort of purpose into it, like I don't know, dedicated servers or some shit, and then it actually might be worth the money. But for now, it's not worth it. Not worth the uh, whatever extra fee. Dracula continues. More Castlevania. Castlevania Advance Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics and hauntingly epic music. Deathly beautiful graphics. I'm sorry. You, you, you made me chuckle there. You made me chuckle there. Sorry. All regional versions of each game. All regional versions. Okay, that's respectable. That's respectable. Advance Collection. On Nintendo Switch They're actually putting an effort into their thing instead of uh, what Nintendo would do. An almighty classic returns. Yeah, it's already one thirds relevant, exactly. What is this? The classic Super NES game Act Razor returns on Nintendo Switch. Now remastered in Never heard of it. <laughs> the Lord of Light, an almighty god. Only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. What? You to decide which structures will be destroyed. This is a SNES game? creating a flourishing civilization it's kind of impressive for a snes game so, not gonna lie increase giving you an edge in both phases alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music then again we had stuff like link's awakening and that one dungeon where basically you have to collapse four pillars to lower a floor so i don't know pretty cool stuff and a shadow drop all right well, I guess we're getting Delta in Chapter 2, guys. It better be free. Yes, hi. Yes, we know. <laughs> this is not a SNES game, but uh, the previous game was. I do I do love how uh, Toby Fox does keep like a Earthbound kind of vibe to his games, though, and I do respect that. But yeah, chapter one and two, I I didn't see if they were free or not. Also, oh my god, did you see that frame rate? Oh, that frame rate looked.
Archives. Hmm. Okay. Mame. Mame does the same thing. Rune Factory. Rune Factory has a chunky frame rate. How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo. It's not Jason criticizing a direct if it doesn't have if I don't criticize the bad frame rates. I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Shiggy, don't don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its Mario movie. Mario movie. Who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Alright, when is the release? Okay, that's still a year out. That's still a year out. I'll definitely watch it. Release date for North America is on December, December 21st. All right. Announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share. Well, I mean, those regions can just uh screen, watch our version. Our That's not the worst. You mean best part? Oh god, what's the worst part? First, of course, <laughs> is Mario. Who will be Why Chris Pratt? No, that doesn't seem right. No. Mario no, that doesn't seem game. right. Please look forward to Mario as performed I, I, by the no. really talented Chris Sun. That doesn't seem right. Princess Peach? Okay, Anya Taylor does make sense for Peach. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. A a a Anya Taylor does make sense. <laughs> Charlie Day, yes. Okay, yeah, Charlie Day makes sense. Charlie Day makes sense. this timid sibling appear on screen. I'm expecting a monster performance <laughs> by Jackson. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, Kim Peel! <laughs> Kim Peel is Toad! Key is Toad! Key is Toad! Key is Toad! Key is Toad! Instead of us, Donkey Kong! Oh my god! Donkey Kong by Set Sun. Ah! Ah! Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised that Charles Wentonay's being in there. Oh my god, <laughs> Michael Bupp! Uh, no fucking way! Key is fucking Toad! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh my god, I'm sorry. Key is fucking Bupp. I, I can't. I can't. My voice is cracking. I'm dead. I, I can't. I can't. And Jack Black is Bowser. I, 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 I'm losing it. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I am rolling right now. Fucking Jack Black. That's hilarious. It can't. I fucking can't, man. Fucking can't. Oh my god. Oh, that's too good. That's too good. Next, we'd like to show you this. That's too good. What is it? Well, it's Spoon 3. It's Spoon 3. Hey guys, it's Fork 3. It's Fork 3. Hey, that map's from uh, Splatoon 1, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, there's a grapple hook. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that's a Splatoon 1 map, if I remember correctly. That one isn't. Campaign. I'm sorry, furry Octarians? No thank you. No thank you, that's creepy. That's nightmare fuel for you. Hello, Kira. I guess you're still, uh, 
forced to stay fresh in this game. And before Marie gets, uh, gets, uh, corrupted or whatever again. So it's definitely an open world game. It's definitely open world. The Mammalians. Oh, okay, so that's why, that's why. Return the furries. Return the furries. We must, we must murder the furries in Splatoon 3. We get to kill furries in Splatoon, guys. I'm sold. ...that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the City of Chaos. Centered city of Chaos! Order versus Chaos, guys. So that's what happened. You picked Chaos to win? We got Chaos. And octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, Turf War... Doom, but it's a child-friendly furry-destroying version. Exactly. It's great! unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against... Oh god, I hope Marina isn't the bad... isn't the villain. I'm gonna cry if Marina's the bad... is the bad girl, because I love Marina. I'm sorry, but Marina... Marina cute. I'd be heartbroken if she were the villain, because I know in Splatoon 2 they had Marie be the bad guy... be the bad. Return of the Mammalians. Meaning, the reappearance of Mammoth okay, bailout. appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. And how are those cats living forever? I'm actually curious. Explain. How are cats living forever? Yeah, how is Judd and Little Judd missing? Uh, how, how are they living forever? Oh god, he did a dab for two and now he's doing like a weird ass thing for three. That's... no. No. He did a dab for two, now he does like a weird like little hook thing for three. Marina's hot. Platoon what? I didn't say anything. What? I didn't say anything. You didn't hear me. In Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer. All right, last trailer. What is this? Please take a look. Um, Bane out of three. Did I call it again? Is this Bane out of three? N no? Yes? No? I saw Platinum. Platinum is immediate Bane out of three for me. That's not... I don't think that's Bayo three. I don't think that's Bayo three. Unless it is? What is this? You hate the subtitle typeface? It's a pretty bad typeface, I do agree. Is that? Are you kidding me? It's Astral Chain. It's Astral Chain. What the fuck? Wait, what? Did they, ma did they make a reference to Astral Chain in Bayonetta 3's reveal? Are you kidding me? Did they seriously just do that? Did they seriously put an easter egg? It, what? What? Okay. Um. Good, good one. Good one. Good one. Yeah, uh, good one. 
I'm glad to see this game is alive. I predicted that it would be in, and well, what do you know? I was right. Um, I'm very happy to see this game back. I'm. I do not. Again, I fucking despise playing hack and slashes, but. This is a very badass franchise, and I'm glad to see it's coming. She does, Kira. What? I didn't say anything. Huh? Huh? But yeah, reason I thought it was Astral Chain is because that fucking dog costume is in Astral Chain. I know it is. She turns into a fucking dragon? What? Her VA does sound a little bit different, yeah. She does. I mean, it probably is. But everyone loves Bayonetta. She's a fucking badass. That's what that's what I love about her. She's just an absolute badass. Just the way she acts is amazing. I'm glad to see Bayonetta 3 is here. It's been... Way too long. It's literally been since 2017. This was days ago. <laughs> oh. Well, hey. Oh, finally. Okay, so it's been stuck in dev hell for four years and we're finally getting it. We're finally getting it next year. What? Uh. Okay, that ending is suspenseful. That ending is suspenseful. That was like, almost like Dante DMC. That almost looked like Dante DMC, and I know I'm probably very wrong in saying that. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. But hey, I'm glad we have a Bayo 3. I'm not like, I'm not surprised. This direct did not phase me terribly. Except for fucking Jack Black as Bowser in the Mario movie. Oh, and Key and Peel is Bup. Key and Peel. Key, key is fucking Bup. Key and Bup. Bottom text. Key and Bup. So yeah, um. My takes. Mario Party Superstars or whatever. Eh. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. Bayo 3, I'm happy about. They finally did some shit, and it's finally a thing. Um, what else is there? Uh, crap. Uh, Kirby. The Kirby open world game looks really nice. I have high hopes for it. Dread looks great. You got back right as I end. It, it was an okay presentation. Nothing that I, nothing that I was really astonished by. The N64 games being added to Switch Online is something that I'm like, I'm a PC gamer. I can emulate this stuff for free. My guy, just get a PC. Lol. Um, and they're like, "Oh, you can net play this stuff." Yeah, and you can do that on PC. Again, I like I I don't get it. I don't get. It. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being Dell's advocate or maybe I'm just being like correct in saying that. Um, but them charging extra for N64 games is not something I'm okay with because, again, there are free alternatives. Regardless of legality, there are free alternatives. Sorry, Nintendo, that's the way it works. That's the way it works, bud. You can't get what you want. But yeah, um, I mean, it's cool and all. Genesis looks really nice. I'm glad that they added Genesis, but again... Emulation... Um, the controls look nice. I will unironically probably buy an N64 controller. If it has a USB-C out and you can connect it to a PC. There's a lot of people who are, don't know about that crap, but they should know about it. There's a lot of people that should know about it and should know that it is morally okay. There's a lot of people that should know it's morally okay. And the problem is, is that companies try to drill into their head that it's not. And it is morally okay. Which is a sad fact. People are getting brainwashed by companies, yada, yada, yada. I don't have to explain that crap. Um, but yeah, it, they don't show. What will you do if Fortnite Jonesy joins Smash on ten on October 5th? Uh, I don't think I'll do anything, Bailout. Like, I'm not going to be surprised. If anything, I'm just going to be upset that Waluigi didn't get in. Um, but yeah, Genesis controller, cool. Um... Nintendo 64 controller, I'll probably buy it. Um, 
But again, if you want to play in 64 games, get a PC. Get a PC. Like, dead ass. If you even a crap top can run on 64. Like, seriously, guys, just get a fucking PC or even a Raspberry Pi. It literally runs N64 just fine. You can literally look up tutorials on how to set that up. It's not even funny. I don't get why people make such Probably a big deal out of this crap when literally there's three alternatives. But I digress. People are stupid. Um, Deltarune Chapter 2, given. Um, Shin Megami Tensei 5, given. Um, fucking Mario movie, absolutely fucking hilarious shit. I was not expecting half the actors in there to be in there. Chris Pratt, I'm not a huge fan of being Mario, but uh, I'm sorry, Key? Key? King? Key, Seth Rogen being Donkey Kong, Key being um, Key being Toad is just great. And then Jack Black being Bowser is just like, amazing. I love it. I'm sorry. I absolutely love it. And then Splatoon 3 looks really nice. I get to kill furries in a, in a franchise that I love. Um, you definitely did not hear me say that. Uh, Marina's probably gonna be the villain, let's be honest. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like it. I definitely like the grungy kind of like 90s vibes I'm getting from the game. It makes sense, but it's also just fucking hilarious. I can't. I Like, I can't even. But, um, yeah, I, I like the 90s, like, early thousands vibes. Like, the grunge. The grunge kind of like 90s, not hair bands, but, you know, the, uh, the 90s hair, uh, the 90s bands that, like, half of them are already dead because of overdosing on drugs or some shit. The, that, that, that kind of vibe I'm getting from Splatoon 3, and I like it. I exactly, Bailout, exactly. Yeah, at least Charles Martinet is in a cameo. At least he's, like, what's-his-face in the Marvel movies, where he always makes a cameo in one. But yeah, um, and then Bayo 3. Bayo 3 I'm just happy about. Bayo 3, like, I, like, I don't care for the franchise personally, but I'm just happy about that. Um, personally, I feel like a lot of stuff they could have announced now that they didn't, like the Animal Crossing Direct, I feel like they could have announced now, and they could have announced, uh, the Final Smash character. Obviously, they're probably doing that just to, like, spread out information, and I get that, but personally, um... I just feel like this is mediocre. Not disappointing at all. No, this Direct was not disappointing. It was just mediocre and stuff that I'm just like, but I can already do that. Um, It's it's just, eh. It's cool. It's not amazing. It's cool. It's it, it, A lot of it was predicted or expected. But, um, yeah. I don't, I don't, like, I, I didn't see anything, like, I didn't see anything out of, out of the blue, like, Golden Sun getting a remake or something. Nothing super out of the blue. Just stuff that get, that was in Dev Hell, no longer being in Dev Hell. Or stuff that was probably going to happen, and happened. But yeah, anyways, that's my take on it. Probably give it, like, a 6 out of 10. Just not, nothing I loved, but nothing I hated. Except, like... I love Jack Black being Bowser. I'm sorry. Jack Black being Bowser is amazing. Um, but, yeah. That's my take. Mario movie is the only thing, like, the actors for the Mario movie was probably the highlight of the of the direct. The the actors for, highlight, uh, for the Mario movie is the highlight. That's, that's the highlight right there. Other than that, I'd say average. It's average. It's mediocre. It's not amazing. It's average. But, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, also, speaking of which, before I go... That shirt right there. Again, I went to go see ZZ Top literally uh, two hours ago. Had a great time. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, I had a lot of fun. But yeah, anyways, y'all take care. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Gonna get some rest, and I will probably do a game. Uh, I don't know what game. But I'll try to do something. Anyways, y'all take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.